said that the generation that is alive that witnesses the rebirth of the nation of Israel, the leaves returning to the fig tree, will be the generation that sees the coming of the Son of Man. We are that generation. The time is at hand. The blood moon of July 27, 2018, is another of many events from the heavens that have happened in the past few months and years. This will be the longest blood moon of this century according to astronomers. This blood moon will outshine every other eclipse to take place between the years 2001 and 2100. This blood moon will be seen in Europe, Asia. Australia, Africa, and South America. So when you start talking about the longest blood moon of the 21st century, and it's directly over the Middle East, directly over Jerusalem, in Israel's 70th year of its rebirth as a nation, in the year Jerusalem became the capital and the internal city of God, in the very same year of a rare super blue blood moon, this should be of note to anyone who is watching the signs of the season. We must keep in mind the words of Jesus when talking about some of the signs of his coming. And there will be signs in the sun, in the moon, and in the stars. And on the earth distress of nations, with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Men's hearts failing them from fear. And the expectation of those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Now, let's take a look at some signs from the heavens from the past few months and years. The Bible says that the heavens declare the glory of God in Isaiah, in Joel, in the Gospels, in Revelations about there will be signs in the sun and the moon where the sun would turn to sackcloth and the moon would turn to blood. The scientific website, NASA, has 5,000 years of eclipses, several thousand years in the past, thousands of years in the future. And the reason why is because God is very mathematical. He set up uh, everything like his own personal watch, his own time clock. And so I wanted to see if there were any significant solar lunar eclipses over the next five or six years. In 2014 and 2015, there were four total lunar eclipses in a row. Well, how often does that happen? So I went back uh, to NASA's website in history, and I noticed there were not four blood moons in a row at all in the 1800s, in the 1700s, or in the 1600s. So I thought, wow, this is, might be something unique. And then I noticed it happened twice in the 1900. Israel become a nation in 1948. And then you have these four blood moons in 1949 and 1950. And then in 1967 and 1968, to have Israel uh, recapture Jerusalem, the holy city, to have it back in their hands. But I went ahead and went back to 2014 and 2015, and I was looking at the dates. These series of eclipses are truly astronomical to have these events happen and then also tied to what prophetically the Bible says is going to be happening with Israel. During these next two years, not only four blood moons, but a total solar eclipse, a partial solar eclipse. And when it comes to sending signals, God wants to work according to his calendar, not ours. We know when they fall on the feast days, God is trying to tell us something. The November 14, 2016 supermoon. The largest supermoon since 1948. What are some major events that happened in the year of 1948?
during the presidential election of 1948. Virtually every prediction indicated that Truman would be defeated. When Truman won, it was considered to be the greatest election upset in American history. Then, 2016 happened. The August 21, 2017 total solar eclipse. This was the first continent-wide eclipse to be visible only from the United States since 1776. And as we know, July 4, 1776 is the day America declared independence from Great Britain. But July 4 also falls on the 17th of Tammuz on the biblical calendar which is when the Israelites worshipped the golden calf. The last solar eclipse over the United States before 2017 was August 21, 1914. The same year World War I began. The January 31, 2018 Rare Super Blood Moon Eclipse The lunar eclipse was the first to coincide with a blue moon in North America in over 150 years. This is of note. Because this is the same time period. Of the Civil War. Something is coming our way. 99% of the world's population will not be prepared. Is the fear of the apocalypse alive today? I think people are yes. genuinely concerned about it. Famine, plague, death, war. Your world can change very quickly. I think there's a lot of questions about what exactly is going on. Is there an end to mankind? Has that ever been predicted? The regathering of Israel, becoming a nation again, this is the sign of the end times. There's fuses all over the place. We're just waiting for one of them to get lit. It's that volatile. Rumors of wars and wars, nation against nation, people against people, that is just the beginning. It's a great cosmological drama that is playing out. These constellations are lining up. This is what Revelation 12 is talking about. Every single thing that's going to happen on September 23rd factually is mentioned in a book that's 2,000 years old. Is Revelation 12 describing Planet X? In a way, yes, it describes it as a fiery dragon of old. This is not Hollywood anymore. This is reality. This is where astronomy and the Bible meet. Is Planet X coming in? The answer to that is yes. There are some amazing things going on in the sky, and it shows a time coming of just utter destruction of the Earth. Can the events of the Book of Revelation actually come true? What's going to happen to me? What's going to happen to my family? What's going to happen to my world? These are the birth pangs that's setting this whole thing up at this time. These are the signs. This is not something where I'm giving you a doomsday scenario. But it is something that tells me that we need to pay attention. This is a warning.